Welcome to my channel. In this episode of the Back to Portugal series, we did a walking tour of the village of Pia do Orso, located in São Mamedji. This village is mostly composed of restored limestone buildings, many of which are now guest houses and restaurants and cafes. In English, the name of the village translates to Bear Sink. Hundreds of years ago, bears roamed this area and would drink from water that pooled naturally from holes in the rock formations. Hence the name Pia Duoso. So was this really a village back then? And but it's just very well preserved? I don't know how old this village is. I have no idea. I don't know much about it. <laughs> I just know that it's basically uh, I don't know if it was abandoned or semi-abandoned, but there's a lot of older homes with uh, uh, exposed stone walls back then. Um, some people started moving in here and uh, and uh, um, uh, servicing them, make, re returning to their old glory, I guess. Restoring them. Restoring this way. Yes. <laughs> Um, and in doing so, became um, uh, a, a tourist attraction, and then um, brought pressed. lots of money, tourist money in. Olives, ready to be pressed into uh, olive oil. So this is a, an olive oil press machine. Uh, so they have agricultural here, like olive production here. Yeah. Well, we passed by a lot of olive trees, right? Yeah. So I think I don't know. People will uh, basically. I guess this is, must be a, uh, a, um, a note saying who this belongs to, and uh, I guess the the person who runs the uh, the olive press of system over here, he determines okay, this is so many kilos or whatever is going to yield so many liters of olive oil, and it's quite possible why these people have these um, these uh, jugs over here, so they press they uh, get olive oil out of their own olive uh, olives, oh, and I then see. it gets, just gets bottled into there. Well, this one's got some bigger jugs over here, so I don't know, maybe it will fill it up, maybe it won't, or maybe they determine you yeah, had so many kilos will yield roughly this. And they can vary. Um, I don't know, all those look very, very small. I don't know if it's because they're just uh, untreated olive trees. They're not, they're not, this is just people that have plots of land and they have a few olive trees here and there, but they never really take care of them. It, they just grow on their own, so they don't, so it's all just fairly That's natural, true. no. Uh, no pesticides, really. These days, one of the main tourist attractions in Pia d'Orso is the Sensorial Eco Park. The park consists of several science and ecological stations and interactive play. We skipped it, but in the summer, it would be a great place for family and children to learn about the history and ecology of the area. called an aider. aider. This is where they, they would uh, use to collect the corn or wheat and they would uh, separate the husk from the uh, grain itself. So they would beat it down. This might be an original stone house because of the corner pieces.
All right, so we just left Pia Duoso and we're on to our next adventure. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Much appreciated. Stay tuned for more upcoming videos of our stay in Portugal.